it's been stressful for a lot of people to go from Zoom meetings and isolation during the pandemic to then go back to face to face interaction. But life after the pandemic now has some people hoping to lift their spirits with an actual facelift. 13 Action News anchor Trisha Keen spoke with a local doctor who says business is booming and expected it to get even busier. It fires a laser very fast and for a very short duration. Dr. Christopher Choi says patients are looking to get rid of wrinkles, sun damage and more by turning to cosmetic services like lasers and microneedling. It's so busy at the Concierge Wellness Center on El Capitan in West Flamingo, Dr. Choi is recruiting extra help. I brought back my uh, nurse practitioner who was here uh, 10 years ago, and she's been doing nothing but uh, Botox and uh, so neuromodulators and fillers. Dr. Choi isn't alone. The medical aesthetics market generates nearly $14 billion across the globe every year, but it's projected to surpass 23 billion in just the next five years. This report credits the growing popularity of minimally invasive and non-surgical procedures for the spike in demand, but it may also be due to the pandemic. After the COVID, it seems like as people are coming out of, you know, coming out and uh, socializing more, they want to treat themselves. A recent survey says many are scrutinizing their faces now that virtual work and social circumstances have them regularly appearing on Zoom calls and video chats. And the number one reason for cosmetic surgery in 2022 is to look younger after aging caused by stress during the pandemic. I feel, you know, a little bit like a sagging here and neck area and chin and then spots around your eyes and I mean it's very noticeable. Jeannie Williamson says she was feeling self-conscious seeing more people face to face again. She tried expensive creams and says even makeup didn't help. So she opted for laser work from Dr. Choi and was surprised with the results. 90% of the spots are gone. And then also because of that, my tone of the skin, I mean it's brighter than it used to be. People need to feel better because of the COVID and their you know, self-esteem is down. Uh, they've just had a really bad two years. Dr. Choi says he's also seen a recent shift in demographics. Patients are typically in their 50s and 60s, but now he's seeing more people in their 40s and even 30s. He's also seeing more men. I'm now doing uh, Potenza with exosomes, which is uh, microneedling into the face. Uh, for collagen regeneration and for skin tightening and uh, freshening of the outer layer of my skin. Mark Black has gone under the knife, but says he likes the quick recovery that comes with these non-surgical services. The amount of downtime and involvement on my end is minimal. I'll come in here for 30 minutes, it's over. When it's all said and done, it's no pain and all gain for patients as well as doctors. I don't see it uh, slowing down. I think it's going to get even busier. And that was Trisha Kane reporting.